everyone, my name is Britt, also known as Brittles in Real Life on Instagram, and today I'm here on Rodan Wolf's new amazing YouTube channel, and I'm going to show you how I created this look for their makeup competition. I have loved Rogan Wolf for a long time. I think their style is so cool and edgy and unique and just really different than a lot of things that I've seen before. And these are pretty much my favorite things ever, among them being my new phone case. It's so cute. It's a little bat. It actually goes like this. So it looks like he's about to go to sleep. Thank you so much to Rogan Wolf for asking me to create this video for you. It's a big honor and I'm so excited. Your slogan, The New Dark, fits you to a T. So once again, thank you for having me. And if you want to see how I created this look, let's do it. All right guys, so I'm starting off with a clean face and I'm just going to jump in with my foundation. I'm using Maybelline's Matte and Poreless Foundation for this. This sponge, in case you're wondering what it is, it's um, NYX's newish sponge that they just came out with, and it comes in black. Okay, and once you're happy with your foundation, I'm just gonna go in with some concealer. And for this, I'm using NYX again, and it's their HD Studio Photogenic Concealer. This is in the shade Alabaster. Next, I'm just gonna set my face with a little bit of loose powder. This is, again, Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. This is in Fair. Okay, now that we're looking nice and pale, I'm gonna go into my brows and fix them up. So for this, I don't really have like any fancy brow products that I use for this, so I literally just went in with a, wow, Maybelline again, Define a Line. Um, it's like a crayon liner and this is an ebony black. And you don't wanna go to him with this because if you end up putting a lot of this on there, you're gonna have some real dark brows. After that, I'm gonna go in with this tiny little angled brush and I'm just gonna use it to kind of shape my brows. Okay, now that our brows are on, go in with a little bit of mist and set and that will hopefully help them stay a little bit better. So now I'm gonna go in and start in on my eyes and I'm gonna prime my eyes using Urban Decay's primer potion I just noticed this is the anti-aging formula. I meant to grab the original, but can't hurt, right? Five minutes later. And using the Profusion Naturals palette, I'm just gonna go in with sugar, to this one right here. All right, so next, I'm gonna go in again with the Profusion palette. And I think I'm gonna take Doll, which is this one right here. So after you finish laying down your transition shade, I'm just gonna take a semi-clean um, blending brush, anything kind of fluffy like this will do, and I'm just gonna run it over the edge. Okay, next, for this look, I think I went in with Zing, which is this kind of like burnt orangey color here. And again, we're gonna take another shade, and this is gonna be another shade darker than Zing, which is the last one we just used. So I'm gonna take a smaller fluffy brush like this, and then I'm gonna go back in with that same transition color, Doll, the first shadow that we used. I'm just gonna drag this onto my lower lash line. And then I'm gonna go in with Zing. Okay, now it's time to go in with the Morphe 35B palette. This is the Color Burst palette. And we're just gonna go in and use this red right here, which is so pretty. So again, I'm gonna take another fluffy brush and just go in with the red again and then start to deepen up. Okay, so it should end up looking something like this. So for a liner, I'm using NYX's Epic Ink Liner in black. 
Sliner's great. It has a really super thin little point on it, so it's really easy to get into the inner corner. Okay, next, I'm gonna go into my waterline with a black crayon pencil. Okay, so we have our liner done. I'm gonna go in with some mascara now and just cover my lashes. Okay, so now I'm almost done with my eyes. I think I'm gonna actually pop my contacts in really fast. Okay, so I'm gonna wait on my lashes and I'm gonna actually move on to do the little crescent moon shape on top of my forehead. I drew a little half moon shape and then I just cut it out. Um, I grabbed a blending brush, something soft like this, and basically I just laid it on my forehead, held it down and s dusted some shadow over it. Okay, so after you have your template down, it's okay if it's not perfect, I'm gonna go back in with a little detail brush and some highlighter. Okay, now we can finally move on to the FX part of this look, which is the slashes in our mouth. What I used to create this look was Graftobian's modeling wax. I'm just gonna scoop some out and you're gonna to wanna to roll this out as long as you're gonna want it to be on your face. I'm gonna take some spirit gum. Before I start doing anything with my modeling wax, I'm gonna take some spirit gum and I'm gonna lay some lines down here. And then give it a tap. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take it, put it on the corner of my mouth, and then lay it down. I'm just going back in with my beauty blender and just kind of very lightly tapping the edges. So next I'm gonna go in with my palette knife once again, and I'm gonna dip it into my makeup remover. This palette knife, you're gonna need something that has a sharp point on it like this does because we're going to be cutting the slits in our wax. I'm just going to take some black and some red cream paint. I'm just going to take a really, really fine detailed brush. This is just an eyeliner brush and I'm going to dip into the black first. Once we have our black down, I'm going to go in with some red. So after we've finished painting, I'm going to go back in with my palette knife and I'm going to very, very carefully just going to make little tiny indents from where my stitches are going to go. to Michael's or you can go to any kind of sewing store obviously and I just got this really thick black thread and that's what I'm going to use for my stitches. Going back to our spirit gum I'm just going to tap a little amount over the areas that we created the little dent indents for our thread to lay. it for the effects part of this look. Okay, so now I'm gonna pop some lashes on. The ones I'm using are these really, really pretty, thick and feathered ones. Okay, so there we have our lashes on and I totally forgot to add our stage blood to our gashes, so don't forget that.
You can also add a little bit of just like a pink blush. You just tap a little bit onto a fluffy brush and you can tap this on the outside kind of perimeter of your gashes. So now we're ready to move on to lips. For lips, I chose NYX's Liquid Suede Lipstick and this is in the shade Stone Fox. And to create the lip effect that I did, I just took a blending brush and I just lightly kind of dusted it. So from here, I just took a really super flat brush like this and I literally just drug my lipstick down my chin. All right guys, and here's the finished look. Thank you so much to Rogan Wolf once again for having me on your channel. I loved creating this video for you. Please don't forget to follow me on both of my Instagram accounts, Brittles1152 and Brittles in Real Life. Thanks for watching.